so a four figure grid reference will get you to a one kilometer square but if you want to be more precise i mean after all that is a surprisingly big area then you're going to need a six figure grid reference and this is how you do it so let's say for example that we're going to try and find this church here on the b3079 first of all we're going to go along the corridor and find our eastings well that's 26 then we're going to go up the stairs and find our northings, that's 16. If you look at these boxes carefully, you can see that they're divided up into 10 100 metre sections. There's 10 of those per box. So now I can find my church. I am here at 26, well, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's about halfway through the box. And then I'm at 16. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm slightly further up than halfway in that box. Once again, break the square into 10 parts. First, go across the map. One, two, three, four, five. Then go up the side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now add the prefix, which relates to a unique part of Great Britain. In this case, SU. So I'm at SU 26, 5, 16, 6. If a friend's out looking for you and you can give that exact 100 meter square, then you've got a much better chance of finding each other. But it can have a very real significance. If, for example, someone was injured and you wanted to call for help and get rescue, being able to pinpoint your position like that is absolutely essential and can save lives.